Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I want to talk all about my hair. Apparently it's a very, uh, it's a topic of discussion because everybody always asks me questions about my hair more than my makeup. So I mean, whatever, if that's what you guys want, that's what I'll give you. So I just want to kind of go over like all the products and everything that I use. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into it. <laughs> and also, I'm trying something a little bit different in my lighting. I look really orange in some of my old videos, so just kind of playing around with it. So let me know what you guys think about this different lighting. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and start with what I use, like shampoo, conditioner-wise, on my hair. Um, as you can see, I am very blonde, and I like to be icy blonde. Um, if I feel like there's any hint of yellow in my hair, I panic. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. So purple shampoo is huge to me, and the purple shampoo that I use, I've, I've tried a couple of different ones, but this is the one that I have found that I like the most. It is the Shimmer Lights shampoo. Um, this is so super pigmented. Um, a lot of people say, oh god, this is really not the cleanest bottle in the world, but I just grabbed it out of my shower, so it's got like soap on it and stuff. But um, a lot of people say that it's harsh on your hair. Every time I use this, I follow up with a deep conditioner and um, and that way I feel like my hair stays nice and hydrated. I don't feel like it dries my hair out very much when I do that. I use this at least once a week, sometimes twice, sometimes three times. It just depends on where my hair is at um, and how yellow looking it is. I also wanna say I do get the uh, 31 fluid ounce bottle of the Shimmer Lights and this does last me about a year so and it's not that expensive I think I get it on Amazon for like 18 bucks something like that it's not even 20 bucks I use uh, quite a few different shampoos and conditioners I just kind of go off of again where I feel like my hair is I feel like I I feel like if I use one certain shampoo and conditioner for a long period of time my hair starts to kind of get really flat and greasy and it just like it gets so used to those shampoos and conditioners that I like to switch it up. I feel like it keeps my hair on its toes. So um, one system that I really like to use is the Pureology Hydrate line. Um, this is the shampoo and the conditioner. So I absolutely love this line. I love the way that it smells and the way that it makes my hair feel. I highly recommend this. I do get the gallon sizes and like I said, since I do kind of cycle through different uh, products, these do last me for over a year. <laughs> and these are nice and wet, fresh from my shower, but I like the Nissant a lot. Um, this is a toning shampoo and conditioner. I feel like these really help to keep my hair nice and icy. Um, this is the shampoo and this is the conditioner. I just got these on Amazon as well. I'm a big Amazon shopper, so. <laughs> uh, they are the blonde pearl, and they are in another language, but I read and watched a lot of videos on these, so I felt like I was pretty educated and I could trust it, and I don't regret it. I really like these. The next system that I really like to use is the Joyco Blonde Life. This is the shampoo and the conditioner. These really help to keep, again, that brassiness out of my hair while keeping it nice and hydrated. And there is also a deep conditioner that I use with it as well when I feel like my ends are, or just my hair in general, is kind of on the drier side. This dog! There's literally nothing out there. She must have saw a dog walk by and she had to freak out. This is my life. My life. <laughs> Hashtag dog mom. <laughs> and then I also have a couple of deep conditioners I like to use, um, all of which I am completely out of right now. And I'm kind of on the hunt at the moment. There was one that was like my absolute ride or die that I would use. Um, 
and it was by TG and it was sold at Sally Beauty and it was their recovering mask. Oh my gosh, it was so, so good and it was only $10, but then they discontinued the line. So, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I haven't found one yet that I feel like is as good as that mask was. So, I will keep you posted, but another one that I really like is one that I find also on Amazon. So I'll show you a picture of it on my phone since I don't have it because I just ran out of this one too. I've been trying a different one from Sally Beauty, but I don't know quite how in love with it I am and I don't say, I don't, I haven't used it enough to say that I can stand behind it yet. So, but it's by the company Arela Vizalia. <laughs> Arvazalia. I'm not, I'm totally butchering that, but it looks like this. And I'll link it down below. I do really like this one a lot, but like I said, I just barely ran out of it. Okay, so that is pretty much it for everything that I do in the shower with my hair, uh, products that I use. Um, as for out of the shower, there's a couple of different um, deep or leave in conditioners that I've been using. So, one that I've been using is this Redken 25 Benefits One United. I love the smell of this so much and it makes my hair feel so good. Well, pretty much all of these that I'm going to mention, they smell good, they make my hair feel really nice, so that is why I use them. Um, and like I still switch them up because again I like to keep my hair on its toes. I don't want it getting too used to one product. So. 25 Bennett fits from uh, Redken One United. The next one that I love, it smells so, so good, is this one by Saints and Sinners. It's their Velvet Divine Leave-In Conditioner. And then right now, I only have this tiny one, but I love the It's a 10 Leave-In. So, so good. And then if you want like a decent dupe for the It's a 10, the It Hair Care line, it makes a really nice one. It's the 12 in 1 Amazing Leave In Treatment Keratin Enriched. This giant bottle was only 10 bucks. And then, like, to even get a bottle somewhat close to the size of this one in the It's a 10, it's like, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks. So, $10. You can get this. I think I found mine at Walmart and it does a really good job as well. So, if you're on a budget, that's a good one. Now on to oils, so like I'll take my shower and then I will towel dry my hair and I usually grab a Kleenex and just kind of soak up the excess water in it and then I do my leave-in treatment and, and comb it out and then I let it air dry while I do my makeup. And then once, be <laughs> then once I'm done doing my makeup, I will then go in and blow dry my hair and before I blow dry, I put on my um, hair oil. So one that I really love is the Redken Diamond Oil. It's been keeping my hair very nice and soft and shiny. It does a really good job. It's specifically made for when you're blowing out your hair, so it's a good one. And I mean, hello, the packaging. It's a pink diamond. <laughs> I don't know how much more Allian you could get than that. And then I really like the Agadir oils. They have just the regular oil too uh, that just comes in the smaller bottle. But this is the Hair Shield 450 degree plus one. It's got a heat protectant in it. Protectant in it. It's also very a very nice oil. So I highly recommend that one. And then this is just the spray on treatment one as well. Um, I do wear hair extensions and I love to spray this on my hair extensions. So there's a couple of hairsprays that I really love. One is the Freeze It Hairspray from the It Hair Care line. Um, love that stuff. It's cheap and it works really well. And then these two I love. This is the Big Sexy Hair. It's the Spray and Play Harder Firm Volumizing Hairspray. And then this one is one that I get from Sally. It's the Kendra Volume Spray Generic. It smells exactly the same and works exactly the same. Um, and I really like that one. <laughs> These both smell so good. Again, if it smells good, you probably win me over, but I mean, it can't smell good, it'd be crap. So they smell good and they work good. <laughs> and then last but not least, um, after I am done styling my hair, um, I like to put some 
dry shampoo on it right after I'm done. That way I can kind of be preventative about any hair oil coming in. Um, this one I really like. It's the BioTerra Invisible Dry Shampoo. This is the one that's the scent uh, Citrus Extract. And it smells so good. Some people don't like the smell of this. I love it. And I am someone with dry shampoo who prefers a white cast because I am blonde. It, ha it helps to conceal any roots and anything that I have. So I do love the white cast. So if you don't like white cast, you're not going to like these. And then I like, I really like to use the Batiste Original. I feel like it's really good at holding back that oil. And uh, again, it's cheap and it gives me that white cast. And then this one I really love. It's the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. It's kind of a dry shampoo and texturizing spray in one. Love the texture that it gives me. I don't use this all the time, but I love it when I do. <laughs> Alright you guys, that is it. It's all about my hair and the hair products that I use. Uh, strictly just products. Kind of want to do like a whole hair series. So if, down below, if you have any questions about my hair specifically that you want to see or know about, just let me know. Leave those down below. Give this video a big ol' like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.